And now we have Kai Sisson with us. Kai, what's the latest on the Olympics? Yeah, some big news for the USA men's hockey team. Let's begin there with their huge win against Russia. The classic Olympic rivalry brought fans to the edge of their seat as TJ Oshie made four of six attempts in a shootout that shocked the Russians and left Sochi, Sochi speechless. USA was the underdog going into the games, but have turned out to be the highest scoring offense so far. The US of A is set to play the Czech Republic in the quarterfinals and are favored to win. Back here in La Mirada, the Biola men's tennis team had a rough match against the number three team in the GSAC conference, Vanguard University. Players Lucas Lee, Taven Townsend, Brandon Chang, Roderick Pence, and Isaiah Picari all lost to their Vanguard opponents in singles. The Eagles dug their hole even further, losing all three of their doubles matches against the Lions. Biola baseball had a sweet win against Corbin University at home after a rough weekend against the University of San Marcos, where they lost both their games in the doubleheader. At the Eagles' diamond, Tyler Bernheisel, I'm sorry, Bernheisel threw seven and a third innings of one-run ball against the Corbin Warriors. The Eagles were strong at bat, where the first two home runs of their season were hit by Mike Annunziata and Sam Thorne. We caught up with Coach Selinger on the big 7-1 win. We played well on Friday, and we played like that again today. And, uh, you know, it's fun. When guys put it all together, you get three facets of the game. When you hit, when you pitch, and when you field, you, you get good results. And, we, you know, we did that today. They will play at home against Concordia this Friday, the 21st, at 2 p.m. Kai, I love going to Biola baseball games. So do I. I had a great time. You know, my good friend, Peace Later 3, brought me into the dugout to shoot some video for the yeah. show, and he was telling me a little tidbit about, about dugout culture. Okay. So when they hit their home runs, crowd goes nuts. And as the players round in the bases, round in home plate, uh, the, the team's not cheering in the dugout. It's like they don't even care. They're just sitting there doing their thing. The second the player comes into the dugout, he sits down, the dugout goes crazy. It's called the silent treatment. I guess it's just a baseball thing. Never heard of it, but yeah. thanks for the insight, Kai. <laughs> it's pretty cool.